A potential breakthrough for people living with hemophilia. The condition usually means regular infusions to prevent bleeding. And even then, patients have, be, have to be extremely careful to avoid injury. Dr. Malika Marshall reports a new gene therapy has lifted that burden for some people. Terrence Blue was just nine months old when he bumped his face and developed massive bleeding in his cheek. My parents freaked out. Terrence was diagnosed with hemophilia B, an inherited bleeding disorder that can cause anywhere from mild bruising to hemorrhaging into joints, muscles, even the brain. There are two main types of hemophilia, hemophilia A and hemophilia B. Hemophilia B is less common, affecting one in 20,000 births. Terrence has a severe form, essentially producing no clotting factor 9. He's needed factor infusions every week his whole life. I heal slower than the average person. I'm really conscious about things like, you know, bumping into things, uh, taking falls. But earlier this year, Terrence became one of the first people in the world to receive a new FDA-approved gene therapy. We've been really excited about this new gene therapy that allows us to take the gene for factor nine, which these people do not have, put it into the liver and get the liver to make a protein that it normally makes in everyone else. Dr. Nathan Cannell, a hematologist at Mass General Brigham, says once the gene is delivered to the liver, it lives there. And presumably can continue to produce factor nine indefinitely? That's the hope. Since his gene infusion, Terrence went from producing almost no factor 9 to 37 percent, much greater than the 5 percent needed to prevent spontaneous bleeding. He no longer has to worry that slipping and twisting his ankle while he's dancing or while he's just doing his normal activities are going to result in a bleed. I've had a few bumps and bruises, a few cuts and scrapes. They've healed much faster than they have ever, which makes me feel almost superhuman. I think I could be a, a little more relaxed. I'm not going to go skydiving anytime soon, but. Nor are most of us. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston. Clinical trials show that gene therapy continues to work for at least four years, and researchers hope it will last much longer.